Hello guys, another video from my car as every Friday on this channel, not that much about Laravel from technical point of view, but more about career and productivity. And today I want to talk about Laravel, but from career point of view and where Laravel is heading in 2024, I'm pretty sure it's a huge year for Laravel as a framework broader and why Taylor needs our help help of all of us. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure have you been following the ecosystem of Laravel in 2024 and not sure if you've seen Laracon US talks and tweets and what has been happening here, but I see a huge trend of Laravel being tried and adopted by non-Laravel developers. And it's kind of not a new thing. Taylor has been talking about it on the podcast with Matt Stauffer and elsewhere that Taylor has hired a lot of people to basically conquer the Silicon Valley in terms of Laravel being more widely spread around not only Laravel developers but as full stack framework for people who didn't use Laravel before like for example Silicon Valley guys and general non-Laravel developers who used to code with JavaScript and for example .NET on the backend, JavaScript and Python on the backend or whatever on the backend or Node.js for example. Laravel for them wasn't even on the radar because it was PHP. Now the things that were happening during Laracon US, Laravel Cloud was introduced and even who was participating during that, Laracon for example, Primogen and other non-Laravel community members were heavily involved on Twitter and then their audiences have been retweeting and replying to what is happening here, what is that Laracon, oh there's Laravel, oh I need to try Laravel and they actually tried so the word has actually spread for Laravel. But on the other side of the spectrum, recently Matt Stauffer launched a website called Built with Laravel trying to find well-known brands who use Laravel, like Apple uses Laravel in some shape or form and then others. But surprisingly to me there are not that many brands listed on that website, around 20 or so. Of course there are valid reasons for that because Laravel is mostly backend and companies do not disclose what they use on the backend, bigger companies for security and legal issues. But still, the problem exists that Laravel, as popular as it is in our community and as many subscribers as I have on this YouTube channel outside of Laravel world, it's still not that widely adopted. In terms of the whole web development or coding in general, Laravel is still a niche framework based on PHP language, which has a pretty bad reputation. So this is what I mean by Taylor needs our help in promoting Laravel, in whatever we can contribute. For example, I can shoot videos not for Laravel developers only, but probably go for a wider audience and try to introduce the framework to other developers, for example, or create specific courses or content, or just tweet in a way that others would see and notice Laravel as a good solution, just be helpful for newcomers to community from, for example, JavaScript developers. And also I'm thinking whenever I see a company using Laravel, a bigger company, I will probably retweet, share, and also spread the word as a success story of company using Laravel framework. And for every one of us, our goal is whenever we have a conversation about someone choosing a framework between Laravel or something else, we need to come up with arguments and examples for Laravel. We need to be able to convince others to find again arguments and success stories so that Laravel would be more widely adopted. As I'm shooting this video, just idea came to my mind. Probably I will write an article like an instructions for anyone who get a question why Laravel or why PHP, how can we convince others? I will list the reasons with examples or something like that. Just follow Laravel Daily or me personally on Twitter for the news around that. But anyway, you get the idea. Our goal for all of us to make Laravel more popular because that would secure the jobs for all of us actually, including myself publishing content about it. And if we manage to get Laravel adopted in Silicon Valley and in bigger companies, it may get bigger salaries as well as job offers. Back to you guys. Do you have any ideas how to get Laravel more popular or how to explain Laravel to non-Laravel people for them to be convinced that it is a viable solution for the framework if they are in a position to choose a framework and a language? Let's discuss how we all can help Taylor in his, as I call it, US expansion. That's it for this time and see you guys in another video.